Friends, presenting your research effectively in research paper, review paper, PhD thesis and assignment is crucial and hence transformation of bulky text into well structured diagrams and schematics will improve the readability and engagement of your documents and these documents may get attention and preference if you are submitting them into different journals and universities. So in order to create these diagrams we generally use powerpoint, 3d paint, Corel draw and several other tools but obviously these tools are time consuming. So what if you can create these stunning well structured diagrams in minutes by using AI. So hello everyone and welcome you all to the channel my research support and today in this video we will be discussing about a magical AI tool and which is Wondershare eDraw Max. So this tool is capable to draw more than 200 types of diagrams including flow charts, mind maps, graphs and many more. Now let me first discuss about your simple interface and for that you can search for Wondershare eDraw Max on any search engine and then you have to click on this link. I have also provided the same link in this video description so you can directly refer to that as well. So the next step is either you have to sign in or you have to create your account so you can click on sign in. Now you can directly log in either with your Google account or you may click on create account you can provide your basic details then you will be able to create your account and you can log in with your login credentials. Once it is done you can get back to the main home page. Now you can either use this eDraw Max on web or you may click on this free download so that you can download and install this eDraw Max to your PC. So I will simply click on free download and I will recommend you to move ahead with this installation for better experience. So once you download the setup, you have to follow some simple steps to install this eDraw Max to your PC. And once it is done, you can see this logo and Wondershare eDraw Max, so you have to open it. And now after you log in, you'll be able to see very simple interface. So if you are interested to any of these diagrams like flowchart, mind map, organization chart, basic diagram, graphs and charts, or any other diagram, you can click on more so that you can access multiple diagrams types. Or along with that you will find multiple templates available on this home page itself you can scroll down and if you are interested into any one of these templates so you have to simply click on that template and then you can move ahead editing this template so along with these templates by any ways if you want to customize this interface you can click on this setting icon from upper right corner here so you can customize preferences here including language you can set your language as well and then we have one magical and interesting feature which is eDraw AI that we'll be discussing in the last part of this video. Now we will take a few examples and we'll see how you can create these stunning diagrams in minutes by using this interface. So here you can have these options so you can open any of the project if you're already working on you can import Visio, CAD or SVG files or you can directly open different templates and work on this template. So let us now start with new. So you can click on new and blank drawing. So here now you have to first understand about this interface and this interface is really very simple and runs smoothly on desktop. But if you work on tablets, then here is an excitement part. Idraw Max is launching its tablet version on March 15th. So you can stay tuned for this update. So here you will find some drop down menus home insert design view symbol advanced and ai so we'll be discussing all this one by one and on the left side also you will have some options like templates symbols text images icons stickers charts widgets etc and rest other interface is exactly similar to microsoft word so it is really very simple to use now let us say i want to customize one flowchart so simply you can pick a few of the shapes from here and with this interface, you can easily add multiple shapes, connectors, pictures very easily. Let us say this is the title of my flowchart. If you click on the shape, then on the right side, you will have some editing options. You can change pattern field, single color gradient, gradient field, you can change the color as well. You can also change textile and font from here. Let us say it is Arial and I'll make it 14. Now let us say I want to add some main points under this title so simply you have to click on this triangle in similar fashion you can go on adding multiple shapes so you can click on this triangle or you may select any of the shape you required you can double click on this box and you can add different points say this is point number one now let us say you need to add some sub points then you need to move your cursor on this triangle and you need to select which shape you need to add let us say I need to add this shape again move your cursor to this triangle you have to click on that you can again reselect one more shape similarly I will be adding one more shape 
you can easily move these shapes or you can format these shapes by using the options listed on the right side so under this home you will get all these options so if you are selecting any specific shape or multiple shapes then you can also lock this shape also you can replace this shape rotate you can change the size position etc so even though this interface is very simple to make yourself familiar with it you need to practice it now let us say i need to add different images then you have to click on this images so you can search for the specific image let us say this is the image that i need to add and you can format this image so that it will properly fit your required diagram you can move your cursor to this point and connect this shape to your figure now you can click on insert now let us say you don't want to manually add these different shapes then from here you can go to the template and you can select required template let us say i'll be working with this template means my data suits to this template then i'll select this template and then you can delete unnecessary part let us say i don't want this part you have to select and delete i don't want this part you have to select and delete so if you want to add any other part you can click on this triangle okay you can move your cursor to this triangle and you can select the shape you required and you can format these shapes as per your requirement so similar to this template you can insert table picture chart timeline etc so it is recommended to go through all these options one by one so that you can better understand it then let's move to the design and then you can select any one of this design and according to that your chart would be formatted let us say i'll be selecting this design so similar to this you will find lot of options like background color background picture you can change you can put borders and headers watermark etc you can also have this option one click beautify so if you click on that then there would be three options so let us say i'll be choosing to move ahead with this option one click beautify so automatically this chart has modified if you don't want that you can simply undo the changes then you can look into this view option if you want to go through the slide show you can click on from current page or from beginning you can see the background normal view you can make this grid lines on off even you can make this margins on off or simply you can format this page so let us now move towards next option which is symbols and this is also interesting feature so let us say you need to modify these shapes now if you click on this shape you can find only four anchor points 1 2 3 and 4 so you can add different anchor points from here let us say i'll be adding one anchor point at this position and then i can click on move anchor so that i'll be changing the shape of this diagram so similarly i'll be adding more anchor points and then click on the move anchor so accordingly you can change the shape of this diagram so you can also delete this anchor points let us say i want to delete this points you can delete this points so similar to this anchor points you have many other options here you can practice it so let us discuss about advanced where you have several other options you can also encrypt your file so that you can set password for this file and hence you'll be able to only view this file so along with this encrypt file feature you will find one more excellent feature and that is spelling check so if you have used text within your diagram and if there is a mistake in the text then it would be corrected let us say i'll be changing this title so i'll be putting this spelling and then i'll be clicking on spelling check you can see this this edra max has identified this is a wrong spelling and then you can select the correct spelling and accept so this is a kind of simple demonstration of these features if you want to prepare different diagrams if you want to customize different diagrams as per your database requirements then definitely you can do that now let us take one more example so if you are customizing these diagrams charts on your own then definitely it will take little bit more time but if you are smartly using these standard templates then you can quickly prepare well structured diagrams and schematics now let us say i have this word file and the topic is earth you can see this there are some main points sub points so the first and most important thing is i have to carefully analyze this data and then i need to compare this data with the standard templates available within this interface so let us say i found this is a best suited map for my piece of text then you can open it and then you can go on adding your own points 
So similarly by considering these standard templates, I have converted my data into well-structured schematic. So this is the schematic. So in this way as well, you can smartly make use of these available templates. Now, lastly, we will discuss a magical feature which is incorporated within this interface and that is eDraw AI. So let's see how to use it. So I personally like this feature. You can access this feature through this option eDraw AI. Or let us say if you're working on any other diagram, then you have to click on this AI. And under this AI, you can get these two options, AI chart and AI drawing. Both these options are different. So let us now click on AI chart. So let us say while preparing this diagram, I need any additional information. Then here itself within this eDraw AI chat box, you can ask different questions. Now let us say I'll be asking how to target new customers. So as you can see here, along with these three options, I have got several other options. Those I can definitely add one by one here. So in this way, you can go on asking multiple questions to this eDraw AI chat box. So let us say if you need to add some sub points under this offer quantity discount. So you can ask how to offer quantity discounts and then you can go on adding some sub points here under this main heading. Not only this, but through this information, you can entirely generate a new map or new chart. So you have to click on this AI diagramming and then you have to select mind map or list and you can see this how to target new customers and this mind map is generated. So you may edit this map or you may delete few points if not required. Now one more excellent point, if you have any specific information in text, so let us say I need to prepare one graph which represent magnesium alloys for biomedical applications in the last 10 years, a kind of review article if I am writing, then I may need this graph. So I'll copy this and then in the beginning of this AI chart, you will have several other options. So let us say I need any chart from this popular charts and I may select mind map. So this will ask about the subject. So I can just paste the copy text and enter. So as you can see here, a mind map has been created on the canvas. So this is my mind map. So I can go to the design and by using several other options, I may modify this map. And finally, once it is ready, then I can click on file, save as, I'll select the location and then required file type, PNG, JPG, TIFF, etc. And then I'll click on save. So in this way, I can save high definition diagram. Now let us discuss about the last point and which is AI drawing. So you have to click on that. So this is again one of the powerful feature where with the help of only text, you will be able to create images. Let us say I want a biomedical implants related image. Then I will click on create. So you can see this. These are AI generated images. If you want any other images, then you can try generating images by using different keywords most preferably specific keywords. So in this way, I personally feel this is fully loaded AI tool that will help you to create stunning diagrams. But the only thing is you have to practice it a lot. And with free account, you can get only limited access. So if you find this tool helpful, then definitely you can upgrade it to premium. So do not forget to refer to this video description for important links and discount related information if any. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope this information will help you. And if you have any queries, please write us through comments. We'll definitely try to answer all these comments. And do not forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.